Good evening. Port Adelaide has confirmed it's being investigated by the AFL for a possible breach of its strict gambling code. We're told the league is concerned about a small bet placed on a match not involving the power. Port Adelaide has confirmed the investigations over one bet placed by a punters club made up of power officials and players. It's understood the syndicate was formed to bet principally on horse racing. The bet under investigation is understood to have been about $20 and was placed on a pre-season game last year, which did not involve Port. Betting on football matches by people involved in the sport is outlawed under the AFL's gambling code. It's understood assistant coach Matthew Primus is one of the eight people involved in the punters club, but there's no information on what involvement, if any, he had in laying the bet under investigation. Neither the AFL nor Port Adelaide would appear on camera today, but Seven News understands the league is close to wrapping up its investigation. If anyone's found guilty, there's no limit on what their penalty could be, but a hefty fine is most likely. The AFL takes breaches of its strict gambling code very seriously. Previously, five players, including Crow skipper Simon Goodwin and former North Melbourne official Ron Joseph, have been caught and fined. Goodwin, who admitted to a gambling problem, was slapped with a $40,000 fine. 20000 of that was suspended and is still hanging over his head. Paul Childs, 7 News. A heavily pregnant woman trapped in her car after a nasty prang this morning says five motorists drove by without stopping. Her family is shocked and outraged. Eight months pregnant and trapped, her six-year-old daughter screaming in pain from a broken leg. After smashing the family car into a tree at Gawler River, Corinna needed immediate help. She was waving her hands. She couldn't get out because the door was up against the mound. And the young granddaughter climbed over the front to, to get to her mother. She was taking her daughter to school around quarter to nine when the unthinkable happened. Another car, blue bubble car, was coming the other way. Uh, they were in the middle of the road and the door had to go to the left, hit the, uh, the rubble or the side edge and just spun around. He says no motorist stopped to help for some time, even though the mangled wreck was clearly visible. Five other cars went past without him stopping. Now, to me, that is absolutely shocking. One passerby did phone Triple O 45 minutes after the smash. Mother and daughter were cut from the wreck and flown to the Flinders Medical Centre. Both are in a stable condition with the unborn baby uninjured. If they weren't involved, even if they saw it happen, motorists have no legal obligation to stop at the scene of a crash. But the woman's family say there is a moral obligation. Open your eyes, you know. You, you would need help one day. Michelle Vella, 7 News.